It's a great day to spray a bay. So, I uh, didn't really record a whole lot in the process of doing this engine bay as far as getting it all ready, but it's only half of it, or not even half really. So, I'm going to go ahead and document the rest of it. That way we'll have it as documentation. I told you guys from the beginning that we'd be documenting everything we do. And I've been slacking on that because I've just been so excited to get stuff done. And so excited to get everything ready to go. Uh, plus, this is our first go-around on doing engine bays. Uh, DJ's got his all taped up right now, but his engine bay looks great. You can't see it through this, but his engine bay looks great. And... Uh, we, we did both of our engine bays. He did his. I'm doing mine. Um, and that's our first time doing them, so we didn't want to give out any tips or tricks or anything like that. We didn't want to act like we were experts, but we do want to document the process, kind of give you guys an insight on how these projects were built. So hold on tight, and we're going to get this going for you guys. <laughs> Right. Yep. Yeah. I'm just doing all this so I don't forget where everything goes. Yeah, I know. That's what I've been doing. I've been taking pictures of everything. Alright, so now, as you can see, look at all this rust, man. Look at this. Like, There's like three layers of paint somebody has done or patched it up or whatever. But all that rust on the left-hand side there. And then look on the driver's side like right there where the booster is and stuff so much rust from the uh, brake fluid leaking out of the master cylinder so obviously I had to replace that but this is just a before look at what happened and like what it looked like before because I didn't get a whole lot of us breaking it down tearing it down to get it ready for prep so anyway this is kinda what it looked like before Boy said, you're my girl, <laughs> Hey, quit moving my camera, bro. Oh, my bad, dog. Come on, dog. I was trying to get through, bro. Go around. Hey guys, what's up? We're back at the shop. It's another day. Um, just want to let you guys know we're going to be adding all this together. It's a, It's been a, a week or two process. Um, and so we're going to be putting it all together first for you guys and then we'll put it out. Um, so don't be alarmed if I'm wearing different stuff in different parts of the video because this was a process, man. So we're down to et etching. We put etching primer because there was a lot of bare metal. So we went with the etching primer, and then now I'm going to coat it with an actual automotive primer, a gray primer, as a good, a good foundation to put my paint on. And then hopefully we'll be able to spray it black today. Hopefully we'll be able to do that today, get it all glossy and shiny. Um, as you can see, I used tape. I would have preferred aluminum foil on this just because it's so much easier. Um, easier to get on and easier to get off, and it does the job. However, it was the middle of the night when I got ready and I was not taking no for an answer that night. I was ready to go. So I taped everything up because um, I ran out of aluminum full, ran to the house. And of course, we had just ran out, I guess. And so I uh, was not able to use that. But that would have been the preferred method on that. But make sure you tape everything up that you don't want paint to get touched. This isn't a how-to, but I'm just kind of giving you some tips as I'm going along. Uh... But it's been a fun process so far, but like I said, lots of sanding. Two weeks worth of sanding. Now look, that's probably not typical. Probably on most of the stuff you do, that's not going to be typical. However, on my build on this car, um, there were at least two or three different coats of paint on it. So, uh, with that being said, I had to get all of that off. And um, so, 
got it all off um, and then down here you can't see it because I got rid of it of course but down here where the brake master cylinder goes and the clutch cylinder um, brake fluid dripped down <clears throat> and it messed up all the paint there so I had to take that down to bare metal a lot of this went down to bare metal um, and then as you can see with the seams here um, we're gonna see how that goes I haven't I haven't seen a car that had this much seam filler on it but I did a lot of studying and apparently uh, it's a common thing with these cars and they say leave it alone and that it'll hold paint so we'll see we'll see how that goes um, I'm hoping that it holds on if not we may have to do something else but it's all good but for now we're gonna handle it how it is so uh, gonna get it cleaned up and then we're gonna spray it with primer so let's get it You got, you got some parts? Couple of them. Tell me why Amazon sent me an empty bag. 
supposed to be my starter bowl. It was legitimately empty. Empty bag. Oh no way. Empty. Let's see the reaction. Empty. What's going on? No oh, way. Look at it, man. Oh, yeah. Plain. Yeah, she looks good. I don't even want to touch her. It looks, it looks wet still, yeah, don't it? It's glossy. It's yeah. wet, but it ain't. Yeah. Bro. Something else, yeah, it man. It looks good, bro. Something else, bro. It Just, it laid flat, man. Oh, yeah. It laid flat. Yeah, it's good. Just like I wanted it, bro. All that sanding and prepping was worth it, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, looks good. Bro. It was all worth it. Yeah, none of that'll be seen. Oh, yeah. All of that's gonna be. That's why I didn't even spray in here. Because this is all. I yeah, mean, that's yeah. literally where the bumper's gonna bolt up, too. But, man. Even the camera doesn't do it justice, bro. Like, it's dark. Yeah, yeah. It's glossy, dude. Yeah, it's glossy. Honestly, guys, I'm just really astonished by the outcome still. It's so glossy for a rattle can. Everything's rattle can. And um, what we like to call rattle can. And I'm still astonished how it came out. Yeah, there's a few blemishes here and there. But really, it came out better than what I, what I had anticipated and what I had expected. So it came out better than my expectations. So I can't go wrong with that. Can I go wrong with that? So, um, with that being said, it's just it's just nice. I, I'm, I think what it came down to was the, I think really what it came down to was the preparation. You know the, you know all the videos from Paint Society. Shout out to Brian over there, because what it came down to was prepping everything and doing it right um the thing about me is if i'm going to do something i'm going to do it 100 percent. you know that old saying that i used to say all the time you know full throttle like i've only got two speeds i got full throttle and then dead asleep and so if i'm going to do something i'm going to do it all and so that's the reason why there's a lot of things that i don't actually do because i know i'm not going to give it 100 percent, and that's not how i roll um the things that i do i 100 percent commit so no half-assing over here you know what i'm saying so I 100% committed to this. Yes, it's just an engine bay. Yes, it's going to get oil on it at times, I'm sure, and gasoline and everything else, and I'm going to have to patch it up and all that good stuff, but really, really, really impressed with the product and the, the you know, the finished part of it. So it's time to go back together. But anyway, it came down to prep. It came down to everything I learned from Brian on Paint Society. Uh, he's the only one that I got my advice from, you know, from his videos, and, um, Sanded everything down the way I needed to. There were some metal spots, so we uh, etch primered those spots, and then we went back with a straight up automotive like gray primer, and then we hit it with a uh, rattle can rust oleum gloss black. And a lot of people will will uh, you know cringe at that, or you know maybe like what you rattle can that after all that work? Yeah, it was two weeks worth of sanding and cleaning, and um, I'll have pictures and stuff I'll attach here um sanding and cleaning and all that good stuff to get it to where i needed it to be and um where i was satisfied that i knew it was going to come out and we weren't going to have stuff flake off and all that good stuff so uh still my very like i said i'm just very impressed uh with myself doing this first time and it looking this well i didn't expect it to look this well i expected it to have some runs and some stuff like that so it Beating my expectations is, I'm just happy. I'm the happiest dude in the world. So, um, so stoked now. This is out of the way because this was a big hurdle. Um, and so now it's uh, getting the engine dropped in. But right now i got to put everything back together and then I'm going to drop the engine in. So, uh, be looking out for those videos. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to support us, you want to support the channel, support the podcast as well. Um, check out, uh, the Seamless Garage website. Uh, we got shirts and we got hats here. Uh, let me show you the other one that we got just as a live video. Here's the shop anyway. Uh, so we got two types of hats right now. We've got that style with the white mesh back and then we've got the gray. 
So those are the hats we got, and then of course you know the OG seamless uh, shirts right now, black with the white. I almost discontinued them, but I'm not going to. They're so they're just so cool. They're OG that I'll keep making them. I've got the screen for them. I'll keep making them for you guys if you guys keep ordering them. But um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do it. Um, I hope I'm bringing good enough content for you guys, and uh, be on the lookout because we're going to be dropping an LS into this bad boy right here this is dj's obs chevy old body style that he has done his engine bay as well look at that he went with that hammered black color it's real crazy looking it's like it looks like orange peel but it's not and that's actually hammered that like that's what it's supposed to look like hammered black so it's really nice he did the frame everything so we're not holding back on our bills guys we're going 100 percent on them so if you want to follow the bills, just keep, you know, subscribe to the channel, keep following us, and uh, we'll keep you guys updated. And, you know, also on the Seamless Garage Instagram, you can stay updated on there as well. But uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.